Hey guys, welcome back to my channel Tech Fit. This is Gareth, and today we are looking at top six courses online for data science. Now this video would be good for people who are graduating or trying to find what is good for them or do they want to actually pursue their career in the data science field or if the people who are working already in sales or if they're working already in IT or finance and they want to get a good knowledge of data science but they don't really know where to start, this video is for them. So watch this video till end, I'll be giving you top six courses there, you can actually get more understanding about all of them. We will be looking at them in an ascending order of prices, so first course would obviously be free so you could actually start Start as on today for free and start learning data science from end to end. As we all know, data science is kind of like a really popular topic. Again, if you see even on this stack overflow, if you're looking at this graph here, which is again talks about the salary of a data scientist, especially if you're working in the IT field or if you're trying to move into IT field, sometimes people do get confused. Should I be working as a data scientist? Should I approach the career within data science? Or should I go into data engineering? Should I go and work as data analyst? So as you can see, the results here, and like if you are thinking of working into this IT field, but you're not sure you want to work into data science or data engineer so it's almost about a decade now i've been working in this field but i've always been doing these courses to actually upskill myself or even not just to upskill to actually get some more knowledge about this field because this field is basically growing every day so every day you have new things happening within this field so you always want to keep yourself up to date and these type of courses do help you in terms of keeping yourself up to date and applying on a real life problem so especially when you're trying to get into this field one of the things is that if you want to get a good really understanding of this field yes you will get a lot of information on when you're learning it but it's really the good information comes in the hand it's when you actually practice uh, in terms of like when you're learning online you're actually practicing on your projects or you're actually finding projects maybe from Kaggle itself you're downloading the data and you're playing around with the data that's where the main learning comes from so do give it a go to these courses maybe start from the top don't really go out spending too much money on this try to learn it for free maybe spend 10 or 20 dollars and try to get good knowledge around it and maybe actually apply sometimes if you look at the courses you could see oh maybe it's not for me it's too hard maybe actually sign up to Kaggle and download the data and try to do some small work yourself maybe using Python maybe using R or try to learn through SQL now again you can follow my channel as well you can subscribe to my channel I do make videos on how to learn Python how to learn SQL so you can actually follow those videos and you can learn with me as well and you can have good understanding of the basics and you can move along on this line you can make up your mind that this field is for you or not so without wasting any more time let's begin looking at the list of these courses So let's start looking at the list of courses. So the first one is with Udacity. Again, this course is completely free. So as you can see, there's around 17 lessons for you starting with the machine learning basics and you're moving towards different types of machine learning algorithms. And it gives you a good understanding of the maths behind these models. Again, when you're working in the data science field, the majority of the time you will be building models. So within that, it's good to have that understanding of what different types of machine learning models are there and get a good understanding on those. It also kind of like touch up on the data set and different types of questions, regression, outliers, so there are different chapters that kind of covers different areas within this field. Feature scaling, feature selection, clustering technique, and you're also looking at principal component analysis, validation, evaluation metrics, and finally you're trying it all together and building it into one project, which is the last lesson. Now the second one is with Udemy. Now I wouldn't recommend Udemy for all the courses. Now again, Udemy is quite well, so I wouldn't really recommend all those courses on Udemy, but there are a couple of the courses that I found really interesting for myself and gave me really good understanding of different machine learning models and also kind of like applying them in Python and R. So those are the first one, which is on Python for Data Science Machine Learning Bootcamp, which is again with Jose Portilla. Now again, he kind of like goes in really good detail on starting from how to get Python installed and going with basics on Python, which is with the Python crash course and also looking at different packages in Python, such as pandas numpy and working with some visualization packages as well and then moving towards working on the actual data set again you're working with the Kaggle data set where you're trying to apply then different models on different types of data set and looking into different machine learning algorithms. It also goes in a bit detail on big data and bit spark which is done with PySpark which is again good as it also involves 12 lessons with PySpark set up where you're setting the PySpark package and then you're actually working on that so I did find this uh, course really interesting on me. So I wouldn't recommend you to buy these courses for 139 euros again, which is equivalent to your own currency. Udemy does sales 
all around the year. So you can actually find yourself getting this course for 90% off. Here you're looking at this course for around 13.99 euros, which is again would be equivalent to your own currency. There was another one within Udemy. Now within this course, again, they kind of like go in detail and they show application of these models, starting with data processing and looking at regression classification problems and clustering and reinforcement learning, natural language processing, deep learning, and they kind of like go in all these details on these areas, finally concluding with the model selection and boosting techniques, which is the XGBoost model. Now they are have a good grasp and because again, they're showing the examples using these models. First of all, they're trying to explain the maths behind the models and they're actually showing the application of those models with Python and R, which I thought was really interesting again, because majority of the courses do tend to uh, stick with one or the other, where either their courses within Python or within R. So the third one would be data camp and within data camp again i have showed the prices on the screen now so you'd be looking at something like getting a standard uh, membership which is 25 dollars per month which is again equivalent to your own currency again in which you do get 335 courses which i do think is uh, really nice as well because again it's cheap as you're only spending 25 a month and you are still uh, getting knowledge again you can do courses around what is machine learning machine learning models which again goes into more detail on maths and try to explain exactly from from scratch what is machine learning and then going into more detail and understanding of different type machine learning models starting with supervised and supervised learning and also going into deep learning models so this is really good to get good skills and graphs and knowledge with using data cam data cam is definitely really helpful again because they do have really good infrastructure where you are applying your code you don't really need to install python on r on your machine because again you can do solve these problems within their own uh, website the fourth one is coursera now coursera members of course are slightly expensive in comparison to data camp or data courses again you would be spending somewhere around 43 dollars per month which is again equivalent to your own currency but i do find a couple of courses which are really interesting and giving me good knowledge around data science so one of the courses were apply data science with python specialization which again kind of goes in more detail on again giving you a bit of good understanding of how to use python for programming and giving a good understanding of different packages such as Pan and MPN, more visualization packages as well. And it gives you a good understanding of data cleaning and machine learning models and goes into more detail to using scikit-learn package. Similarly, they do have another course within Coursera for R users as well which is called data science specialization. Again, in this, they go in more detail on different machine learning models and regression analysis, data science, different manipulation techniques, uh, data cleansing techniques, cluster analysis, and data analysis. In this, you'll be using R Studio and doing our program. The course R courses are definitely really interesting and gave me really good understanding on different machine learning models and understanding of these programming languages, and also giving understanding on R programming again, because these courses are also offered by uh, specific universities, such as the Python one was offered by Michigan University, and where you have the another R programming one, which is offered by John Hopkins University. So again, they gave you good understanding good knowledge around data science techniques. So the fifth one is data quest. Again, I did find data quest a bit interesting as well because of their techniques and then the way they actually gave understanding on data science. It is slightly more expensive in comparison to even Coursera. So Coursera was coming around $43 a month, whereas you would be spending around $47 a month for data quest. Now again, once you have paid your monthly fees, you get, you're subscribed to different levels of courses. You do have courses starting from the beginner level to intermediate level to advanced. So again, within beginner level, you can actually do courses like machine learning fundamentals and you can move along towards the intermediate level where you're doing machine learning in Python, which is intermediate level, and then also working on machine learning project where you're actually working on one end-to-end -end project and you're applying that in your skills and you're understanding how good is that for you. Now, again, we have talked about these different the six courses, slightly more expensive as it is with MIT. Now, again, MIT would be a course for some people who have actually already tested some sort of free data science course or Udemy course where they have spent $10 and they have kind of like have a good understanding of data science and they know finally, look, I do want to pursue my career in this and I do find these feel interesting and this is something for me that maybe it's a good step to, to do a step up now where you move towards a university level online program where again the course would be expensive again as you can see here the course is valued at 1142 euro which is again equivalent to your own uh, currency as well but you are spending around one year and two months and it's obviously instructor led course where you have your part-time either the evenings or wherever you have you get your online course material you will be learning online you'll be doing your exams online so i did find this course really interesting as it gave you good understanding starting from probability to data analysis moving towards fundamental statistics and also giving you a good understanding of different machine learning models that spends a good 15 weeks on this section where it gives you good understanding of every single model 
if it's in machine learning and deep learning area. And then it moves towards also looking at different data science uh, capstone projects and you will be working on the exams in the last and gives you a certificate in the end. So I did find these courses interesting as I thought we were really uh, well equipped with the right skills that you would need for working in data science field. So if you found that interesting, leave it on the comment box below what you think about these courses. And I hope you found that video really interesting and it gave you some sort of nice understanding if you were trying to move into this field and what would be the best way to equip this knowledge and understand more and actually move into this field of data science. I wish you best of luck to actually move into this field and is there anything I can help you with? Leave it in the comment box below if you have any specific questions to ask me or DM me and I would be more than happy to answer your questions. And again, thanks for watching this video and subscribing to my channel. If you haven't yet, do subscribe to my channel. It does help YouTube algorithm to recommend my channel and give it a thumbs up if you like the video. So that's it for me guys for today and I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.